Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while. I think the chickens are now about six months old. Obviously they look very different from the last time that um, you saw them. So I'm excited to show you all their colors. This is Cookie. I don't know if you remember, Cookie was kind of a speckled black and white color. She's definitely our darkest chicken. So um, this is what she looks like now. Cookie is so confident and friendly. Um, and she actually just laid her first egg a few days ago. It is kind of a, la it's a green, it's like a light green. Babe, can you grab the egg for me? No, no, that's Donnie's egg. Oh, <laughs> I know, can you get the one in the fridge? <laughs> so she laid a nice big, um, big for a first egg. Uh, a kind of light green color, it's kind of hard to tell, but she's got still kind of the darkest black head and she's got kind of like um, brownish blackish feathering, so kind of copper colored. All right, this is little Donnie here. Um, she was a very loud chicken and she was super wild, um, but she ended up kind of calming down. Now she's, she's actually not calm, she's still very loud, but she's much more personable than she was. Um, she wants to check out the camera here. Ooh, don't flap, don't flap, I stand. Okay, okay. This is Donnie's color now. She's one of the prettiest chickens, I think. She has this like ombre going on. Yeah, I totally know what's in. And I think actually literally like a couple minutes ago, Donnie just laid her first egg. It's a different color than Cookie's and she was in there when I found it. So here, check out her back colors. Isn't she pretty, ombre chicken? <laughs> so this is the one I found by Donnie. Um, it's more blue than the other one. It's really hard to tell colors on here. I know some people on the last video mentioned that they thought she might be a rooster, and I definitely thought she was gonna be a rooster too. Her name actually used to be Dottie, but I changed it to Dottie because I thought she was gonna be a boy, but um, nope, she's a pretty little girl. All right, now we have little Miss Deli. Deli is still a super relaxed chicken. She's super chill um, and friendly, and she's pretty dark too, so she's kind of this rust color. Um, and she's got kind of a yellow ombre going on on her neck. But she always had one of the most impressive little beards. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can get her up here for you. Woo! We're gonna flap, we're gonna flap, that's okay. I'm getting so much poop on my fingers. I just wanna show your colors, look how pretty she is. And as a chick, uh, baby chick, she was like, actually the lightest one. She was the fluffiest one and the lightest kind of yellow color, but um, she ended up to be darker than I think all the rest. Check out that neck too and that nice black beard. Great beard. All right, and here we have Little Miss Willow. She is still a diva. Um, she was the littlest chick and she's still just very slightly smaller than the other girls. Um, but she was a chipmunk chick and ended up this, she's got one of the most universal color patterns. She's like this um, pumpkin-y orange. All right, but look at these really pretty, how can I show you this? Um, I just wanted you to see her really pretty um, neck feathers and she's got kind of this higher contrast going on. So yeah, you're a pretty girl. <laughs> We've got a fun personality. All right, you wanna say bye, Willow? <laughs> she's ready to go back out. So here we have little Miss Millie, who used to be the very, very loud one. Um, now she is still very loud usually, but she has one of the prettiest color patterns. I think she is like the rainbow chicken and she started out as a lighter chick get her up here. See, I really don't hold them like I used to anymore, so we're trying to figure it out. She's got like a rainbow neck, um, and she's got this like light blue kind of color going on, um, which actually a few of the other chickens have too, but she's really the only one who looked different as a chick. But she does still have this black head here that's, I think, really cute. I know, she doesn't want to be football held right now. Check out those neck colors though. Who is that? Oh, who is that? And right here we have little Miss Mabel. I know I keep saying this, but I really think she is one of the prettiest chickens. <laughs> They're all pretty in their own way. She has um, this like crazy, the outside of her neck feathers are yellow and the inside are blue. So it's not even like black or anything. She does have this really, really cute dark black beard though. Um, and she's a very confident chicken. She's a very confident chicken. She always goes for my ring. Um, without fail, none of the other chickens do, but she always tries to go for the diamond on my ring, which is funny. So I'm gonna show you her um, body feathers here a little bit better. Don't smack me in the face. There we go. Man, you're a heavy chicken. She does have some of these blue colors going on in the back, which I think is really, really pretty. Not quite as many as a couple of the other more lavender ones, but um, you can only be an egg soon. I think yes. <laughs> this one is my little pet chicken. 
Um, this is a Reptar, and Reptar has special needs because she has cross beak or scissor beak. She requires a little extra care sometimes. Yeah, you do. She's a little more comfortable in the house because of that, because she does spend some time in the house. Walks around like she owns the place, but that's only when um, part of her beak like breaks off or we need to nurse her back to health that way. As far as coloring goes, um, she's kind of that like lavender combination. I've got like three chickens like that, but she's got some um, some of this blue and brown on the back, and um, she looks a lot like Millie actually, except that she's bigger and obviously the little beak issue going on. Don't listen. Are you my friend? See, I like her because she can't peck you in the eyes. <laughs> when she tries to peck, she just misses. I have to feed her corn out of the corn container. She just kind of smashes her head in there over and over and gets some that way. Um, but yeah, she's my special little girl. Here is little Mushroom. Um, mushroom is like a really wild chicken. So she's probably pretty sure she's gonna die right now because I really never mess with her. She has more of the blue coloring. Her head is on the lighter side um, compared to the other bluer chickens. But um, as an overall, she's kind of this blue rust combination. Let's see if I can spin her around for you here. Oh yeah, you don't like that, do you? It's okay, hang on. There you go. Yeah, you're a flighty one. She's a flighty chicken. And here we have Miss Quick. Um, she is very mellow chicken. She's always very polite. She was a little chipmunk chick and she ended up being um, like a darker kind of rust sunset color. Obviously my terms are super scientific and technical. Not. Yep, she's a little bit on the darker side. Um, and these neck feathers kind of remind me of the well summer coloring. So I kind of wonder um, if she might have some of that in her because obviously they're all mixes. So that's why it's fun to see their colors as they grow up. You never know what they're going to be. The only other thing about Quick is that her muff is like a lot smaller than everybody else's. Um, I did have one uh, beardless Easter egg that I sold, um, but Quick is kind of like in between. She doesn't have this great big muff, but um, she definitely has some going on. So there you have it. Those are the Easter Eggers um, at about six months old now. Um, a couple of them just started laying this week and it is um, January. So it's the middle of winter in Wisconsin. So I was pretty sure I was gonna have to wait until spring to see any eggs. So um, any little eggs we get from them right now are kind of a bonus. And you'll probably notice that there are a few chickens missing. I sold two of the Easter Eggers a few months ago. Um, because I think I do want to diversify my flock a little bit more next spring and I don't have really a lot of room for more chickens in this coop. Um, so I did sell two, that would be Magnolia and Leggy. And then little Chrissy was the sick chicken. Um, she had a crop problem ever since she was like a three day old chick. She had um, an enlarged crop. It was, we think she might have had a um, crop like genetic um, disorder because it was basically from day one when we got her. Um, and we actually put her down yesterday, so that wasn't easy. Um, we loved her and it was not fun to put her down, um, but we're grateful that we had her for the time that we did. And I look forward to showing you guys what we get in the spring. I don't think we're gonna get more Easter Eggers. They're definitely fun. They're the fun. I know all chickens are gonna have their different personalities, but since we're in a residential area, don't pick my face. Since we're in a residential area, um, I think I need to go for a breed that is not known for making noise like these guys are. <laughs> and um, neighbors so far have been awesome, but um, obviously we don't want to push our luck there. I'm thinking about adding three more to the flock in spring, so I will keep you posted. Once they all start laying, I want to do a video showing the uh, egg color correlation with everybody's colors. So I think at this point I'm definitely convinced that there's no way to tell what an Easter egg looks like um, based on what they looked like as a chick. I used to think there would be some correlation, but really we had chicks that looked exactly the same as other chicks that grew up to be completely different colors, and then we had other chicks that looked totally different from the rest of the group and grew up to look exactly like another chick who looked nothing like them as a baby, so it's definitely hard to tell, I think, but um, so we've had fun with this bat for sure. I would definitely recommend getting Easter Eggers. I found them to be a lot of fun. Um, and it really helps that they're different colors. You can get to know each chicken um, with their different personalities a little bit easier that way too. So in the meantime, we're gonna wait for everybody to start laying. Um, we're gonna watch those egg colors. So far we have a blue-green and a green. So we're still waiting on seven more. I'm crossing my fingers for good variety. Um, but until then, you guys have an awesome winter and we'll see you in the spring. 
Okay, bye.